Well, let's build a counter with a seven segment display. So we'll have a counter and a seven segment segment display. Let's do that. In order to do that, we're going to need a couple of items. The first item we'll need is a switch, even though we're going to make a push button out of it. Hmm. Try that again. And again. There we go. I need two of these. And I'm also going to need a ground. So I click on the ground, put that there. I also want the counter. What's this fella? I put him here. And I also want the seven segment display. That's this fella here. And I click, and there it is. Let's line these up, make them look nice. One there, one there. And let's uh, put that here. I'll line that up there. And then I want that seven segment display to show. So let's get that pretty close like that. And basically we're good. All right, let's change these buttons. These, pardon me, these switches to buttons. So I right click on them and I go to properties. And I click on momentary. As soon as I do that, it turns into a button. Very good. I right click on the other one. Same thing. Properties. And OK. Whoops. Nope. Right click. Properties. And momentary. OK. Now it's a push button. Now I go to the wiring tool here and I connect everything up. Click. And I connect the first button the first push button to the counter. The second push button I connect to reset. The ground I connect to D. Now let me move that out of the way just a tad so you can see it. Just a tad, just a little bit. There we go. That's nice. Next, I'll go back to the wiring and I'm going to connect three to three, two to two, one to one, and zero to zero. And there you go. There you go. That's our entire system. Now what we need to do is run this. So to run this, I go up to this button, the run mode, the run simulator, and I click on this. Notice there's a zero here automatically. Every time I hit this push button, it will increment the counter by one and display it. Currently it's zero, so zero plus one will be a one when I click on this push button. Let's see if that works, and bingo, there it goes, I get a 1. I hit it again, increments it again, to 2, there we go. Again, 3, again, 4, again, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now this is going to be in hexadecimal, so 10 is represented by the letter A. So I'm going to get an A here, and there it is, A, and that represents 10. B will represent 11. There's your B. The next letter will be C. That's 12. And the next letter will be 13, which is D. Lowercase d is the best they can do here. And then E, 14. And the last one is F. That's 15. So 0 through 15, that's 16 digits. There's your F. Now, when I click on this button again, it's going to go all the way back around to zero. Uh, wrap around back to zero. Here we go. Ah, it goes right back down to zero. So there's your counter and the display for the counter. And that's all being pushed by a push button over here. Now, notice this. If I hit the push button oh, a few times, I'm at number five right now. What does reset do? Well, if I click on this push button, it's going to send a signal to reset. Reset will reinitialize this back down to zero. Let's try that. Oh, it worked. I'm back down at zero. So that's how this entire system works. Thanks for watching, and so long from Hoboken Gear.